Home Affairs and Law Minister K. Shanmugam has outlined Singapore's economic realities at an annual ministerial forum with over 300 university students. He laid out Singapore's financial position as a way to explore areas of keen interest that society has on the social fabric. Mr. Shanmugam pitched Singapore's financial position around how there are lots of good things that people want the government to do. He also says challenges are plenty as the country is living beyond its means even today. The question is, you know, what does it mean for our social compact and how would people feel that uh, whether they can make it and uh, what do we need to do to uh, make sure that uh, we try and ensure people from all areas have the opportunity of going up the pathways of success without cutting off or killing off people at the top. Because without them, you also don't have entrepreneurship, you don't have companies, you don't have jobs. So how do we keep it together? And our problem is accentuated by this. We have been extremely successful in attracting uh, top MNCs into Singapore and make Singapore the regional headquarters, regional headquarters, top jobs for Singaporeans. But what that means is they are commanding the company from Singapore across ASEAN, sometimes even India. Mr. Sean Mungam also told the undergraduates that the future of Singapore is in their hands. And while the economy is broadly well managed, it's a fine balance of expenditure on the needs and demands of society. If we are not careful, it can quickly become a situation where there are chronic deficits. Chronic deficits then will have to be paid for, for those who study economics, only in three ways. You print money, in which case your dollar becomes less and less valuable. You borrow or you increase taxes. So most countries borrow and increase taxes. And you've got to ask yourself whether that's viable for Singapore because the local economy is small. I mean, we can't be selling things, making and selling things to each other. We've got to be competitive in the world. For us to be competitive in the world, we have got to have investments in Singapore.